Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to a customer's house who found me on YouTube. Stay tuned. No, I, while, man. Hey, let's see what's going on with this air conditioner. Nothing going on. <laughs> That's the problem. All right, tell me again what right now. Well, it's been like a sorted history past couple of years. And it's been running up, you know, draining the bank account, just having to like six, eight hundred dollar bills through the summer, past two, two years, and then three hundred, four hundred dollar refills or free on the past couple of years. But hmm. Finally asked the dude, because he was trying to replace the whole system. He's like, well, it looks good, but we need to replace it. And I called my buddy down south. So I was like, you know, is there something else? He's like, did you ask him to check for a leak? So I was like, hey, did you check for a leak? He's like, we can do that. And uh, so right up there on the unit in the attic, mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called, but right there, that one of those first fittings, there was a leak right there. It just wasn't tight. So we got that done this, this summer and sort of, you know, got through and didn't need any uh, Freon refills, but then the fan stopped working, so it would freeze up. Okay. And then, uh, so I changed capacitor because I was trying to educate myself because I realized you can't trust anybody. But that's the reason I called you because I saw you on YouTube. Okay. And you know, when you see somebody firsthand, how they go about things, like, okay, well, I, you can trust this guy. You know, I like the way you, your philosophy, try to fix it rather than replace it. Yeah. Well, so basically I want to get it working you know, for the comfort now, but also want to get you to give a whole overview, you know, and, and get it good to go. All right, let's see what you got. Attic up there, everything's off. Where's your thermostat? Let's see that. Right here. So nothing's working at all? That's just this light. It's a bad light. All right, let me see. Oh, return daytime. We're gonna put this on. We say we put it on cool. Turn it down and see what happens. Let me see. Well, you have stayed enough to. That's what how I came across you was trying to figure out a little bit about it because that's something I didn't know about, and you know got enough to figure out changing the capacitor out. That's just the bulb that freaks me out too. I actually put some, I taped some little streamers on the vent up there so I could tell if it kept going or not. Cause I was like, just keep trying it. This is my fiance's house. I live elsewhere, but. Okay, so um, I don't hear the blower coming on. That's what I'm saying. It, it won't come on anymore. It used to just come on every now and then. I just said, keep trying it. Just keep the cool to off. All she right. doesn't understand to keep the cool off until the fans blow it, you know. All right, let me check it upstairs. Right there to your right. Okay. I don't know what capacitor I've got in there, but you can see the a couple I've been through on top. <clears throat> that fan's always low, and the before said, you know, it shouldn't be. And I got my shop back, you know, my big heavy duty one, and sucked it out real good out there at the wall. All I suck up some good stuff, but it seems like it's been backed up again. Whew, this drain's this drain pan seen a lot of water. Yeah. That's what you know he was trying to say it's the unit but but it's no you know it did say it looked clean and all that as far as on the inside. Deal with all this. Ain't tape. nobody got money to swap one of these out. There. No, they can be expensive. I know that. Yeah, that screw's about shot. Get some rest of the moisture. 
I'll say I gotta get more comfortable. Yeah. I gotta sit back there on this. All right, I hear the transformer. Let me get a little bit of light. Is yours? Yep. I put them in there because when it was working, it was sucking that up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just put some weight on there to keep it down. I um, see. Also concerned about the money and the airflow, you know. It's like, what is this calling so much? It's costing so much money. And you see, I've also taped the hell out of it trying to it was just sucking up a lot of air from the attic. Well, if this door closes properly. Yeah, it doesn't. I was testing with my vape, just blowing there, just watching all the mist go in. All right, let me see here. Get my meat off. Yeah, everywhere I've got it is where it was sucking in. Put it back this past time because I just couldn't get the fan to come on at all. Before it would just like intermittently sometimes work, sometimes not. But you couldn't get the idea that you got to have it off cool unless the fan is running. All right, that's good. So it froze up a lot. All right, we have a float switch on. And I just got some of those tablets up there. I don't know if they'll do any, any good. Looks like this motor's been replaced. Yeah, no, it looks like some messy wiring, at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I got no 24 volts right there. Six volts.
No, I know I just had 28 volts. No, I got nothing. I'm getting like eight volts. Eight point eight, eight point seven volts. zero volts here 28 28 volts I'm sorry if y'all can't see that. I'm going right on the transformer and through the board here. Right now it's showing 20 volts. hearing something humming I'm not sure what that is all right nothing all I'm doing right now is just remaking these connections three point eight volts zero volts Twenty two points, twenty three volts. There is something going on here.
one. Whoa. sitting on my foot like that. Killing me. Mm. All right. All right, when well, my 24 volts go, let me make sure it's turned off. It's like when my 24 volts goes through the board and goes to zero. Or if it has any kind of load on it. It goes to zero. One. What a mess we have here. trains around here. I know I just heard a train. Alright, my red goes straight to this board right here. Then it comes out on these thermostat wires right here. So let's turn that back on. y'all can see that I got 28 volts right there and then coming out of my thermostat wires I'm gonna go straight to common right here on the board 28 volts Hook this up. This is
Well, I'll be honest. I don't know what I did. <laughs> That's um, kind of what was going on with me. This, um... I saw some loose wires that weren't attached coming out of there. I thought about trying to hot wire it. But I know it well, these loose that. wires that weren't attached, they, they go to the blower motor. Huh. You can see I've been trying to clean this up a little bit. Well, the blower motor is what I was thinking for working, right? Oh, it's not blower motor, it's low voltage. Mm. And I'm beginning to wonder if we just don't have a poor connection, like an oxidized connection or something. Yeah, I think I thought about that and pulled some of those and kind of looked it over. I didn't ever spray anything with any deoxid or anything. Jackson, I'll get you in a little bit, buddy. Twenty eight volts. Twenty eight volts there. Mm -hmm. Twenty seven. Mm -hmm. just happened. transformer we got 28.6 through the float switch I've got zero
Still got zero. Fuse does not look like it's blown. When I went to test on the um, Molex plug on the board, it came on. right there well, you talking to me or the camera? <laughs> a little of both it depends on whether or not you watch the video um yeah i don't want to ruin the video i don't i think it's this um board here let's see if i can test that again all right come in from the transformer, we got 28 volts. Twenty-eight and on the Molex plug. So it has already, it has already turned off again. I'm pretty sure it's one of these um, solder joints on this board. So let's either, let's go ahead and replace with the board. I was thinking about putting a relay on it, but let's replace with the board. All right, guys, we got our board. This customer also complained that he was having a really high electric bill, like seven, eight hundred dollars during the summer. So um, once we get this going, we're going to check and see what else is going on. Here we go.
Okay. Now let's see if we got the right board. Am I on your way here? <laughs> no, I'm about to leave. Okay. All right, let's see if it will fans should come right on as soon as that thermostat calls.
going to put this cover back on because of the blower motor being like this. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that says R410 on there. Yeah, this is 410, 2010. pretty good sub cooling super heat mm. I might have dirty filters maybe a dirty coal So yeah, super heat's coming up a little bit. Subcooling does look a little bit low. So far, so good. Air handler does not have a P trap. And if you see it sucking air, that's why that drain pan was so full of water. The P trap prevents it from sucking air. And if it's sucking air, it won't drain like it's supposed to. Right, right. Yeah, I had no idea about that. Okay, we're gonna Somebody had 
cut this off for some reason. Technically that's enough, but we're going to put a little piece on it. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.